Hello, today we're going to be talking about this backpack sprayer and more importantly some liquid iron. So let's get started. Hello, welcome back to my green lawn. Have you ever wonder how you get that deep, dark, rich green? Well, it's iron. And you can use iron in a granular form. It could be in with some fertilizers. Usually you gotta look through the analysis to see if there's iron in it. Sometimes they have it listed, you know, 3% iron, 6% iron, whatever. Or you can buy it in the liquid format, which is what this is obviously. The concentrate, so you'll put some water in here and then you'll add some of the iron. Normally it's like four ounces per gallon of water. That'd be like the maximum rate you'd wanna go. So something less than that, maybe maybe two ounces per gallon. But then again, it depends. There's a lot of other dependencies in this whole iron deal. Um, you don't want to put down too much iron. Uh, that'll actually turn your yard dark black or gray, brown. And uh, not enough, obviously, then you won't see any results. You could be uh, iron deficient, and that would be like your grass blades are starting to turn yellow. Maybe from the tip down, you'll start seeing some yellowing, and I'll be spotty. One of the reasons for an iron deficiency can be, uh, again, we go back to soil testing, and pH, pH could be too high, acidic or too alkaline, and the, the, one, the iron, one of the micronutrients in there is in your soil, is unable to use the iron because it's locked up because of your pH. So a pH, proper pH balance is very important to the overall health of your lawn. And that's why I keep telling you to do a soil test, find out where your numbers are, and then you can make the necessary adjustments. Now, the other issue is if, if, your, if your soil is fine, all the, all the results come back pretty decent. Um, maybe you just want to put down some liquid, liquid iron because you like that steely blue look. Yeah, you can also get the nice green look too, depending what look you like. If you like uh, like an emerald green or a dark green looking color, then stick with your nitrogen fertilizers. Uh, that nitrogen will green it up real nice and you'll get that nice green, that emerald green look. If you like more of a steely blue type of green, then get yourself some liquid iron. So today we'll be putting that down. So right now we're looking at 100 plus degrees here in Minnesota and it's beginning of June. I think we're a little bit ahead of schedule here temperature wise. Um, boy, it's been really rough on the yards. I don't normally have heat issues in my yard. I do have a spot down by the street. I'll show you a little bit in a little bit. Keep up with your regular yard maintenance. Cut your grass at three inches or more. Do your regular fertilizer programs, put down the right stuff, do your soil tests to find out where your numbers are. Because anything you have going you know, in your advantage, right? Because Mother Nature is against you. Uh, anything that's in your advantage to, to, to get that edge, to take your lawn to that next level, you want to you take that advantage. And, uh, and this will do it for you. This will take your lawn to the next level. But again, don't use too much air. I would, I would personally, if you're new at doing this, I would err on the side of not putting on enough. Let's, let's talk about uh, the, the iron application. So when we're talking about iron, we're looking at, uh, you want to look at chelated iron. And I don't see if it's on here. There we go. Bring this closer. Chelated iron. Okay, that means that the iron in this container is readily available to the plant. So that's definitely one, what you want to look for when you're laying down a liquid iron. And we're going to get that nice, shiny, steely, dark green that we're looking for. So iron is an, is an essential micronutrient to your plants. Plants, not just your yard, plants. And it needs that to survive. Again, if, you're, if your pH is off, it's maybe this micronutrient is locked up in your soil and it's unable to be used. Not only iron, but other micronutrients that, are, that may not be available to you because your pH is off. You could also have a nitrogen deficiency and that's a different yellowing look, but you also get a yellow look, it'd be, but it'd be more uniform. You have to get out there and diagnose your yard, look at it, see, what you're, see what's going on. 
Okay, so you, you don't want to treat uh, a nitrogen deficient lawn with iron. You could actually make matters worse. And I believe it would go vice versa, right? Even the other way. So you want to make sure you're treating the right problem. You're not just guessing because you can do more damage than good. Again, if you put too much iron down, you're going to start getting black. So follow the label to the T on whatever iron you decide to use to make sure you're putting down the proper amounts. So myself now, when I'm going to be putting this iron down today, I get my iron through other fertilizers and my other, my other uh, micro nutrients. I get that from other fertilizers I put down. I'm just going to try to give my lawn an extra little pop. And I don't, want to be, I don't want to be throwing any nitrogen down and causing any growth at this time when it's so hot outside here. So we're going to keep the growth to a minimum. And we're, we, we're going to give ourselves a little pop by, by doing the iron here. We can get our iron from the liquid. We can get it from a granular. The granular is going to be a slower release. And we're going to see a quicker greening of the lawn through the liquid, through the foiler activity when we spray this we're going to let it dry overnight on the on the leaf blades and then the next day we'll water it in don't also forget this is iron and if you get any iron on the concrete you will stain any surfaces so make sure you take care of those surfaces right away rinse them down real good wipe them up uh, just all together try to avoid getting any any iron on any concrete surfaces or surfaces that you don't want the iron to be on because it will it will stay so when we put this iron down we're going to make sure we sp spray it evenly across the lawn surface and then we're going to leave it sit for at least overnight if, if not 24 hours but with this weather we've been having i'm going to be watering the next morning so i'll put it down in the evening and then i'll water tomorrow morning that's how we're gonna do that make sure you you uh if you like you can mow your lawn first a lot of people like to mow including me i like to mow before i fertilize once it makes a nice little trail so it's easy to find out where you're at you can follow your own tracks i'm not going to mow today because again the heat i want to let my lawn go a little bit in fact when i do cut my lawn I'm going to cut it at four inches. The last time I cut, I cut it at three and a half. I'll be cutting my lawn the next time here at four inches. Okay, when we start doing this, we're going to put this down just like we would if we were putting down a granular fertilizer with a spreader. We're going to do a trim pass around the entire property. And then we're going to go up and down, up and down, up and down, trying to keep that mist you know, you don't want to overlap a little bit, just like you would a fertilizer. We're going to go up and down and try to put this product down as evenly as possible. Also, we're also, we're going to try not to step in anything that we've already sprayed. So I'm probably going to walk straight up. I'm going to keep my wand to my right and I'm going to back down here. Then I'm going to walk straight up, keeping my wand to my right. And I'm going to back down again. I'm going to step over and back down again. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep doing that so that I'm not walking in my spray path. And then I'm gonna to try to stay off the concrete if I can when I'm done. I'm maybe I'll walk in my landscape rocks or something or you can take off your shoes. But I'm, I'm definitely not gonna to try to walk on any concrete until I know there's no iron on the bottom of my feet where I can leave tracks. Also, this is another reason why I tell you to watch your 10 day forecast. You want to watch your 10 day forecast because you don't want any rainfall uh, when you're laying down this, this iron. You want to have at least 24 hours of rain free. Let this product stick on your lawn for 24 hours or overnight, which is what I'm going to do. So watch your 10 day forecast as you would for any other reason. And when you have a clear period of there of no rain for at least 24 hours, go ahead and stick your iron application down uh, the iron the iron once you spray it out of a backpack sprayer you could use a pump sprayer too this one here is a lithium ion powered battery pack so it does take an 18 volt battery um, and it it will last quite a I, I think I can do my yard twice with it it lasts a long time this backpack sprayer works pretty good I'll have a link in the description if you're interested in picking up picking up one of these I'll also have a link in the description 
um, the iron, and you're also going to want to use a surfactant. Oh, here we go. I have a surfactant right here. So we also want to put down a surfactant. This surfactant would be added to that, about uh, one ounce per gallon. And um, this way you put the surfactant down, it's going to break that water tension and, be, and make this iron product stick to the leaf better. The, the iron that you put down will probably take a, a couple of days to start noticing a difference in your lawn. And then the other unfortunate part is it only lasts about two or three weeks. Okay, this is going to be a simulation, okay? <laughs> I just did my application of uh, iron yesterday. I also put down some um, liquid potash. So nice about this particular um, backpack sprayer, it has a screen to, this is a four gallon sprayer. This is by Field King Pro Max, battery operated. Battery goes in back here. Nice, there's a nice strap here. Here's the, where the battery goes back here. There's a big battery back there that goes back there. So what we're going to do is we're going to put almost four gallons of water in here. Then we're going to add about eight, eight ounces or uh, four ounces per gallon. Let, let's make it two just to make it easy. So it's going to be eight ounces of liquid iron we're going to pour in here. If you want to go a little heavy, make it 12. Then we're going to add a little bit of surfactant, about four ounces of that. So we're going to dump the iron in there. We have measured it, right? We measured it first, and then we're going to put four ounces of surfactant in there. And then we're going to maybe add a little bit more water to get to that four, make sure we add four gallons. The lid on it, and it's going to be really heavy, and we're going to shake it up really good. We're going to shake it up, move it around, shake it up, move it around. We'll turn it on, and the uh, pressure will build on the inside. But the pressure's building there, we'll put it on our back. And this is a lot easier to empty, let me tell you that. Because I was having a heck of a time yesterday getting this thing on. Four gallons of water in it. So now we're ready to spray. So you can see my fan tip spraying out sideways. So my, my fan is going to go out this way and out this way. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to edge, right? We're going to do a trim pass. So we're just going to walk the, walk the border of the property right along the grass line and spray all the way around, all the way around the grass. Pour all, all, all around the grass edge. We're going to spray around. We're going to spray all around the grass edge. Try not to get any on the concrete. Then we're going to start at the top here, and we're going to and we're going to start walking backwards. We are going to keep this spray wand low, close to the knee. We're going to walk backwards until we get to the very end. Okay. Once we get to the end, we're going to sidestep over. And we're going to start walking forward and we're going to keep spraying. Once we get to the end, we will stop spraying, side step over, start spraying again and walking backwards. Keeping the wand low up against the knee or by the knee. This is so that we don't walk in anything that we've already sprayed because we don't want iron all over our feet, right? And then you're going to side step and walk forward again. So once you're done, don't forget to rinse out your spraying pack because this will stain and unless you don't really care about it staining um, I use this one for everything so um, I just try to rinse it out right away so that it doesn't stain or it doesn't stain as much it hasn't stained yet um, but it can so uh, yeah if you don't mind uh, uh, go ahead and like our channel like our video and uh, subscribe to the channel if you find these videos useful if you're learning anything we hope you are, this, and we're trying to give you things to do to make your lawn look better on a budget, and hopefully we're providing you with that information. But uh, we do appreciate all the likes that we've gotten, all the video watches that we've gotten. We also appreciate all the subscribers that have subscribed to the channel. Thank you so much. Um, well, on this beautiful, hot, 100-degree day, I'm going to continue with my yard work here, and with that, I'll see you in the green. You have a great day. Take care. Thank you.